So the project I want to make today requires Legos. And I thought, hmm, I just don't know if we have Legos that we could use for our project. So I came down to Little Denmark to look for some. And I found lots of Legos. Lots and lots and lots of Legos. So the question is, will they notice if I borrow a few? I bet they don't. Maybe we'll steal some from this bin. Well, I thought maybe the kids wouldn't want me to use their Legos, so I found a little bin of old Duplo Legos we can use instead. And what we're going to make today are going to be balloon Lego cars. And these cars can be made from Duplos of all shapes and sizes and colors. Um, you can make them with mega blocks or whatever kind of building blocks you have. Um, and the idea is that we're going to add a balloon and blow it up and it's going to power through the car just like in our book if I built a car. So let's go ahead and blow up these balloons and see how our cars do. Okay so when I first started building the cars I started with just a basic um, like a wheel based model and we added a place to put the driver and we added some things on the back for stabilizers and we were going to run the balloon through. But what I found out in trial and error is that these wheels being plastic, they don't move hardly at all on concrete. They move with a lot of help on wood. It just wasn't going anywhere. So then he tried a different type of model that had the four wheels attached. These moved a little bit more smoothly. But again, on the concrete, they didn't move as well. They did move a lot better on the wooden board, but we still had issues and difficulties. What we found through trial and error was actually using a car that had been pre-made and adding our own designs worked the best. We also found that the smaller the hole that we can weave our balloon through, the better we did. So I will tell you that there are a few things on this planet that I hate more than balloons. Glitter might be higher, but I hate balloons. So I hope everybody appreciates that I'm going to blow up balloons for this project. Here we go. <gasps> Okay. Oh, there. I think we did it. One more. Hang on. Dude, it didn't pop. I hate balloons. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and weave it through the hole of this little fence piece because we really need a hole small enough to get it through. And without letting the air escape, we're going to attach it to another Lego piece and then we're going to attach it to our car. And... What's going to happen here is as the, as the air escapes from the balloon, it's going to blow out the backside here and pull our car forward. I'm going to give it a little nudge to get it started because it, we've noticed it does need to leave a little bit of help, but it does work. At least it did earlier. Well, there you are. It worked on the table inside, but it was so lovely we came outside to do our project. I can show you on the other ones how they worked. We'll just take the balloon out again and we'll quick blow it back up. Oh dear, here we go again. Oh. Oh. There we go. And we'll put it through our little fence piece again. And we can put it on our car with four wheels. Let me show you how well that works. We're going to evacuate our little man here and put our four wheel car on. And here we go, you ready? See, there we go, Wee! So that's how you make a Duplo balloon car. Now my older kids, when they saw what I was doing, they went down and they dug balloons, or they dug Legos out of their bins to build their own Lego cars. And we're gonna go have a balloon race. Let's go see who wins that one. So Okay, uh, so we have two cars here that we're gonna show you. We have the first one here that was built by my older son, and he's gonna explain how that one's put together. So um, the balloon isn't actually connected to the thing at all. It's only it's supported by these tiles, and when the balloon is inflated, it's so large that it can't actually go through the hole, and therefore the air goes out the air end and the car goes forward. Okay, and then my other son has got this one. Okay, so this 
the way the balloons attach is through like this handle like piece here and so if I let go of it the balloon won't launch out and go anywhere okay Just stay in place okay both cars were made with the same kind of tires yes uh similar, similar? these are smooth no. and oh and I need my driver back and these are four wheel okay because we're yeah. running this on concrete out here by our still closed pool but we've got a starting line and we have a measuring tape to see who can go the farthest there are no winners and losers in science experiments Seth you need to inflate your balloon yep I know so we're gonna wait here for the balloon inflation hang on <laughs> technical difficulties we have technical difficulties. Take, take two. Okay, our technical difficulties are over. We are primed and ready to start. Again, there are no winners and losers in a science experiment. So we're going to see. Three, two, one, go! Okay, well, Jacob's balloon went 14 inches. Okay, a little farther now. <laughs> and Seth's balloon came in at about... <laughs> I don't know, what would you say there? About 16 inches? Yeah, 16, no, 17 16. inches? So it's interesting. Now, I'd be curious to know, boys, if we used a different size balloon, um, or if we had a smoother surface, how far they would have gone. So for those who are trying this at home, go ahead and use different balloons and build different designs cars. See if the weight or the size of the cars matters, if the types of tires you use matters, and see how far you can get your cars to go with a balloon race. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft of designing your own car. It would be exciting to build new cars for the future, and I know that our motor vehicle companies are always looking for help, so maybe you guys will be future car engineers. Wouldn't that be exciting? All right, guys, everybody enjoy your sunny spring afternoon, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.